My name's Coogan Cassius, I'm co-founder of iFilm London and a massive Arsenal fan. This is my top five Arsenal players of my time. Right, number five would be Eddie McGoldrick. Um, reasons why, no, I'm only joking. My number five is uh, Patrick Vieira, captain's Arsenal to uh, double winning teams. Wenger picked him out the obscurity, three and a half million pounds, no one knew who he was. Looks lanky, midfielder that no one really knew too much about. Look at the player he turned into. Uh, like I said, even though he did a bit of a wrong thing with his City connection, but you know, he still makes the top five because he was quite important in Arsenal's transitional period. Four would be Robert Pires. Um, it's that season where we, we won the double and he got injured after having a great six, seven months and it weren't until he got injured people really realised how good Robert Pires was. Very important to that double winning squad and uh, one of the one of the best players, flair-wise, creativity-wise, uh, midfielders Arsenal have ever had. So he definitely makes my top four. Number three would be Ian Wright. Started following football around 91, 92, or following Arsenal around that time. And Ian Wright was signed from Palace for two and a half million pounds, which, in today's terms, is obviously that was a big transfer fee for Arsenal. It's their record transfer fee, and look at look at what he went on to do. So. Um, scored loads of goals, beat Cliff Baston's record, and uh, you know one of my fan favourites. Not just mine, a lot of people's fan favourites. So yeah, Ian Wright definitely makes my number three. Number two, it's difficult this one, but um, I'm putting Thierry Henry at number two because um, I'll explain why later on. But obviously Thierry Henry signed him as a winger from Juventus, and it was a bit of a flop over there. Signed him to play on the wing. Wenger done his. Uh, magical touch and convert him to a striker and he turned out to be a record goal scorer. You can't really say enough words about Thierry Henry um, and what he done for Arsenal. Uh, just everything, the most perfect player probably to play at Arsenal, except my number one, but we'll come on to that in a second. My number one is Dennis Bergkamp, um, signed by Bruce Rioch actually in 1995. Um, a difficult start to his Arsenal career, didn't score for six or seven games, everyone got on his back, slagged him off. 11 years later, he to me is the most influential Arsenal player of the recent 20 years. So, I mean, what Burkamp couldn't do with a ball and some of the goals he scored, we don't see goals like that anymore. So, and this was week in, week out and we had him. We had the song, we got Dennis Burkamp. That's what we want to do now. We want to sing a song about a player like that now. But uh, Dennis Burkamp's definitely my all time favourite Arsenal player and he goes in at number one. Well, that was my top five Arsenal players. Uh, of my lifetime, uh, might be the same as yours, everyone's got different players that they've favoured during the year, so let me know what you think, leave your comments below, down there, and uh, keep it clean. Arsenal Fan TV here, celebrating our first birthday, would you believe it, Arsenal Fan TV is one years old, and oh my gosh, it's been absolutely incredible. Let me show you the cake here, hold on a minute. That's the cake. Like that. Baked by Sharice, thank you very much Sharice. It's been an incredible year, an incredible journey. I mean, when we first started doing this thing, we never knew it was gonna get so big. We've been nominated for two awards at the Football Blogging Awards, and we've got over 55,000 subscribers.